incomparable Zach Walls. Thank you, Adam. Nervous Nation, how are you guys doing? All right. Uh, I'm going to talk to you guys today about how storytelling and online organizing has begun to save the Boy Scouts of America uh, and our organization, Scouts for Equality, which was a part of that. Quick show of hands. How many folks in the room were a Boy Scout or a Girl Scout at some point in their lives? A whole lot of people. Uh, Scouting is a massive organization with more than 100 years in the United States. It was founded in 1910 and has become an enormous influence for this nation's young people. I joined Scouting when I was six years old and a lot shorter. It's my best friend Nick and I, uh, a couple of weeks before I got my Eagle Scout Award. Uh, and as I like to say today, everything I need to know about gay marriage I learned in the Boy Scouts. Uh, I became an accidental activist when in 2011 I spoke before the Iowa House Judiciary Committee about my two moms, Jackie and Terry. I, you have moved on to thank for having seen that video. Uh, they blew it up, but went crazy, and I started doing activism in the LGBT space, and I joined up with Jennifer Terrell, lesbian dead mother from Ohio, when she was ousted from her son's uh, scout unit in Ohio back in 2012. We uh, joined with GLAD and Change.org to launch a petition that got 275,000 signatures. I then launched an organization called Scouts for Equality that now has more than 7,000 Eagle Scout members calling on the Boy Scouts of America to end their ban on gay youth and parents. Once we launched this organization, we started to build some pressure. We wanted the Boy Scouts to put their vote or their ban up for a vote. We went after the corporate sponsors, Intel and UPS, as well as a host of others. And as these wins started to rack up, we started to see some of this big pressure build. Uh, and the Boy Scouts quickly came to understand that we were not going away. In October, amid the fever pitch of the election, a young man from California, uh, not too far from San Francisco, was denied his Eagle Scout Award because he was gay. You might have heard about Ryan Andres, an incredibly brave young man. After he was kicked out, then we got statements from the Romney campaign and the Obama campaign, both saying that they supported ending the ban on gay youth uh, and adults in the program. This is something that Romney said in 1994, and we were all a little surprised when he reaffirmed that position in 2012, uh, but when he was joined by the Obama administration, we knew we were on the right page. Then, in early 2013, the Boy Scouts announced that there would be a vote on May 23rd of this year uh, to determine whether or not they would address this policy at all. And they said that they're only going to vote on the ban on, on gay youth. Unfortunately, we still got more work to do. But when they announced that vote, we had to say, what are we going to do? We had to adjust our tactics. What power do we have? What do we want? And what we had was a huge network of scouts all over the country who were currently engaged in their communities. And so we built an organization that was going to empower them. So we created an entire field program that brought on a whole bunch of staff and empowered these folks to call their local leaders, talk with their fellow parents, and really build a community of scouters who could then turn around and actually do the real lobbying work on the ground. These are two merit badges. Uh, and we had our field program and our not field program. Our field program was really the bread and butter of our organization. And everything that we did on the not field side, from operations to fundraising to my job as executive director, was about supporting our volunteers and supporting our members. We had all kinds of great stories pour in over the course of the campaign. This is a great picture that went viral on Reddit of a young man marching alone in a pride parade in Arizona uh, with a sign that says, a scout is equal. This is a great story of what happens when you empower volunteers. Our campaign was all about execution, execution, execution. This was taken literally moments before we found out the result of the vote uh, down in Texas when they were making this decision. And the result of the vote uh, was that we were going to have not a complete, but a partial victory. This is me and Jennifer Terrell, that same lesbian dead mother, moments after we found out the decision. We were all down there in Texas. And it was, it was kind of a hard moment for us and a hard moment for me because even though we had lifted this ban on gay youth, parents like mine, my two moms, would still be banned from the organization. The guy on the right is a young man in Pascal Tessier from the Washington, D.C. area, who, because this ban was lifted, will be able to receive his Eagle Scout Award later this year. But on the left, Jennifer is still banned from the organization, and that's why we fight. And that's why we're moving on to the next phase of the campaign. We're building a website called EqualScouting.com. Uh, that will essentially be an online resource for folks who want to join scouting. We're going to rank inclusionary scout units so you know where they are in your area. It's going to be a watchdog. We need to make sure that we're holding the BSA accountable. 
The lessons that we took away from this campaign, I'm only going to spend a little bit of time on this, empower your volunteers and they'll do incredible things, sometimes on their own, and everything is branding. From the way that we interacted with our volunteers to the way we talked about our volunteers, everything in our campaign was about building a solid platform. Two quick lessons, seize the moment, freeze it, own it. When you had that opportunity, go get it. And if you're Gondor, sometimes you need help from Rohan, light the torch and get the advice that you need. Uh, and then the road here will ride it and save the day. And so I just want to thank you guys all for your interest in this issue and for all your support. Take care, guys. I hope you had a great night, Roots.